Hey guys, I'm so excited and happy to see you back on this channel and I really hope you're ready to draw something cute in Procreate because today we're drawing this cute little baby koala and I really hope you'll enjoy this tutorial because it was so fun to draw this little guy and if you're looking for more Procreate tutorial, go to my Patreon page I have a lot more Procreate tutorials in there so you can go and check it out and well, let's get started! So the first thing we'll have to do as always is create a new canvas so we'll go to this little plus sign up here, click on it, you can choose any of the canvases that are listed in the list but i will go with the square and as soon as i press it it will take me to my canvas so in this tutorial we'll be using a few brushes so we will be using the 6b pencil for shading we will also use the inca brush for drawing the whole koala thing and we'll also use this flower stamp which i created and you can download it and use it we will also use this koala color palette which you can also download and use or you can use your own colors totally fine okay great so now let's start creating our little koala so we'll go to the layers first we will rename this first layer we'll call it head then we'll go to the color palette and we'll take this first gray right here we'll also go to brushes and we will choose inca brush and like i said earlier the first thing we'll have to do is create a head and that is super easy all you really have to do is create a, an oval so you will we'll go here and we'll create an oval like this. Mine is probably a little too big right now, so we'll go and make it a little smaller. So something like this, let's make sure it's in the middle. Now just color this little gaps right here. This brush is super fun because it leaves texture, but sometimes it also leaves some gaps in between the lines and most of the time we don't want any, anything like this so we'll just go and color it this tutorial is actually very very easy because the koala the koala consists out of very easy shapes good so now the koala has the fur and we won't be using the fur brush but we'll create the little flap at the top of the head like this Good, now we'll just color it. Awesome, good. So now we'll go to the side of the head and we'll create some fluff here as well. Good, and now you just have to color it. You don't have to be super careful with this. It's still, I mean, after all, it's a fur, so we'll do the same thing from this side. I'll just turn it this way just because it's a little easier for me to do it that way. Okay, so we should end up with something like this. Now, when we created the head, we'll go and create the face. So we'll go and create a new layer on top. We'll call it face. We'll, then we'll go to the color palette. We'll take this gray. And the first thing we'll create will be the nose. Paula has a pretty big nose. It's so funny and so cute. So we'll go somewhere in the middle of the head and we will create an oval like this. Good. Now we'll just color it again. You see that I have these little gaps, so I'll just go and color them. Make my nose a little bigger. So that would be my nose. Now we'll go and create the eyes. And for the eyes, I'll switch for one second to the one line brush, just because I don't want my eyes to have any texture. So I'll go into one side and I'll create a curvy line like this. Awesome. So that would be my one eye. Now I will go select it and take three fingers down, copy, take three fingers down again and paste. Now I will move it to the other side. Good. Now I will have to go back and just merge these layers together. Now while I have my mon line brush, I'll also create a cute little mouse at the end of the nose awesome not done yet though we'll have to go to the color palette take this pink and i'll switch back to the inca brush and i'll create cute little chicks so i'll create one here and again you can just duplicate it like we did before select it and duplicate it or you can just draw another chick on the other side and that's what i will do 
so almost done now we have to go to the color palette again and we'll take this color right here and we'll just create a cute little highlight on the nose then we will go back to the color palette we'll take this color again and we will go and create some kind of fur <laughs> so we'll go and create cute little lines like this to the middle of the nose good and the face is ready now we'll have to go and create the ears good so we'll go to the layers we'll create a new one we'll move it under the head and we will name it ears great then we will go back to the color palette and we'll switch to this color right here and we'll create one ear and then we'll just duplicate it and move it to the other side because that would be easier and creating the ear will be super easy so we'll start here we will create a line a curve line like this then we'll go one two and three don't forget to connect it and now you can color fill it we're not done with the ear just yet we will go and create the little fluff like this to the side of the ear good now we will go and take this pink right here and we will create one more shape like this we will connect it and color it good not done yet though we'll go and take this light pink super light pink and we'll create one more layer of this ear and again we have to color it good and now our ear is officially done so we will go and duplicate this layer we'll click on transform tool we'll flip it horizontally and we will move it to the other side just like this and now we'll go and merge these two layers together awesome and now when we have our ears in place it's time to draw the rest of the body so we'll go and create a new layer under the head and under the ears and we will call it body awesome then we will go to back to the colors we'll take this light gray right here and creating the rest of the body will be super easy so we'll go and create an oval like this don't forget to connect it otherwise you won't be able to color it and now just color the rest awesome we'll add some fur later on but we'll just leave it for now we will go and create a new layer on top and we will call it well, let's call it arms and then we'll go back to the color palette we'll take this next gray right here and we'll create one arm and then we'll duplicate it and move it to the other side so really all you really have to do is create one arm which will be sort of like this and don't forget to connect it very important and color it as you see it's the same color as head but later on we will add the shading so it will stand out awesome now we will just duplicate it again we will flip it horizontally move it to the other side just like this now the last thing we'll have to do is create the little legs so we'll go and create a new layer but first we'll have to merge this two together we'll create a new layer under the arms we will call it legs okay so creating the legs will be super easy so we'll go to the colors we'll take this color right here very light gray and we'll create an oval right here just like this I'll probably make it just a bit bigger just like this great now I will duplicate it I will flip it horizontally and I'll move it to the other side like this 
awesome and now I will merge these two layers together okay so when I merge these la layers together I'll move it under the body and I'll create one more layer and I'll move it under the legs I'll create it just for one second but we'll connect them later on so I already switched to this to this color and now I have to connect my footprints to the rest of the body so I will go and create a line like this good and I'll create one more going this way I will connect it because that's important and I'll just color it and I'll have a little paw like this now I will just duplicate this layer I will flip it horizontally and I'll move it to the other side just like this I will have to fix it here just a bit but overall it looks pretty good now I will go and merge these three layers together I will have to rename it again legs now I'll go and create the footprints on top so I'll go back to my color palette I'll take this color I'll create an oval a big oval right here color it and I'll create three little ones right here I'll do the same thing for this paw one two and three good and so we have little collar in place so then we will go and work on our collar a little more we will go and, and add some fur and some details so we'll go and create a shading first we'll go to the head let's go to the head we'll take two fingers and swipe it to the right we'll create an alpha lock or you can create a clipping mask, totally up to you. Then we will go to the brushes. We will take the 6B pencil. That's the brush we'll be using for shading. Then we'll go to the color palette and we'll take this color. Awesome. Then we will go and start our shading at the top and I'll go to the bottom and a little bit at the chin right here. So first we'll go here, create some shadow to add the side of the head. Here add the chin just a bit and a little more here good awesome 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 we'll do a little more right here good just like this then we'll switch to the darker gray and we'll just add just a bit more just a hint not too much just a bit a bit a bit now we'll go back and switch to this color one more time and we'll make our brush smaller and we will go and create a shadow around the nose so with this good now we will go to the paws so we will go to the arms take two fingers swipe it to the right we'll switch to this color and we'll go and add some shadow so we'll make our brush big and we'll add shadow this way just around the paw like this we'll also do the same thing for this one good and then we can also switch to the darkest gray and add just a little hint of it right here And we'll make super sharp, sharp shadow right here at the end, like this, super harsh. Then we will go and do the same thing for this one. Just like this, good. So now we will go to the belly. So we'll go to the body, take two fingers, swipe it to the right, we'll create an alpha lock, we're using the same color, and we'll create the shadow right here under the paws, so we'll go and create some shadow here, so we'll create the soft shadow first, sort of like this, then we'll go and create a sharper sh a shadow, just a line like this. Good. We'll do the same thing for this one. A soft shadow. 
So now we're gonna create a line, sharp line like this. There we go. Good. And we'll just create just a bit at the bottom right here. Awesome. That's all. Now we'll go to his legs. So we'll go to the legs layer. We'll take two fingers, swipe it to the right, and we'll use the same color. And we'll create a shadow in this area. Sort of like this. Now we'll do the same thing in this area. So I'll turn it just like this, this way. Create some shadow this way. Awesome. Here we go. Just add a little more in this area. Now we'll go and create a new layer on top of the arms and legs and the body. I'll name it fur. I'll switch to the Inca brush and I'll switch to this color and I'll create the same thing as I created here on his face. So we will go and start with his arms. So all you really have to do is just create the lines like this. Good. Yeah, some could be smaller, some could be bigger, some could be a little thicker. So sort of like this. Awesome, now we'll do the same thing for this paw. You don't have to be super careful, some of them could be not in line with the others. Good. Awesome. Now we'll go to the belly and do the same thing. So we'll go here and create the same kind of fur. Good. And now we have to go to the belly one more time because I forgot to create a shadow under his face. So we'll go and switch to the 6B pencil and I'll use this color. And I'll just create the shadow under his head. Okay, good. Now he's complete. So our little collar is actually ready. So now we'll have to go and just draw the rest of the background. So we'll go and create one more layer and we'll move it on to the legs layer and we will call it leaves one. So we'll have two sets of leaves. I will go and switch to the Inca brush and I will go and use this colors right here. So I'll use this one first and I'll create leaves behind my koala. So I'll create one here. And I'll just color it. Then I'll create a big one here. Oops. And I'll color this area. Good. So then I will go and create a big one right here. The one that sticks out a lot. Good. And I'll create the smaller one near it. Just like this. Now I'll go and create one more layer. I'll move it under the leaves one. I'll call it leaves two. Then I'll switch to this darker green right here, the third one. And I'll create a leaf in between this two. Color it. Good. Then I'll create a little one right here. And a bigger one right here. Now while we're here on the leaves too, I'll take the finger swipe it to the right to create an alpha lock. I'll go and switch to this dark green right here, the fourth, fourth one. And I'll just create the middle lanes. Good. I'll also go to this too. Awesome. And this one. Good. 
good then i will go to the leaves one take two fingers swipe it to the right i'll switch to the oops i'll switch to the second green i'll add the same thing and this one and the last one here good okay almost done now we'll go and create one more layer on top of them we will call it flowers good we will switch to this orange and we will also switch to this shape 73 brush which is the flower and we'll go and create create uh, five flowers so i'll create one here one here and i'll create three more here then we'll go and create a new layer under just for one second we'll switch to this light um oh, yellow oops we will also switch our brush back to the inca brush and we will color the middle of the flower good Awesome. While we are in this layer, we will also switch to the darkest green right here and we'll create the stem for our flower and cute little leaves. Good. So one more here. Good. Awesome. And one last here. Just like this. Good. Now we will go and merge these layers together with the flower layer. I have to rename it flowers again. Good. And now we have the flowers. So our call is almost done. Now we'll go on top and create a new layer on top of the flowers. We will call it that. We will use these two colors. So we'll use this one first. And we'll just go around and create cute little dots like this. I'll also create a few little dots right here. Just like this. Now we'll switch to this color. Just a bit more. And three right here. Good. It just adds a cute little detail. Now we'll have to create the shadow under the little koala. So we'll go to the leaves layer. We will create a new one and drag this layer under the leaves layer. We will call it shadow. Good. We will take this color and we'll create an oval like this. Now we'll just have to move it to the side we'll color it maybe move it a little to the top like this good then we'll switch to the 6b pencil and we'll take this color good. then we'll go to the shadow layer we'll take the finger swipe it to the right and now we'll go and just add some texture to this area and the little call is ready we created it together in procreate and i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i really hope you had a lot of fun creating this cute little guy and if you will be drawing this don't forget to post it on instagram because i'm always happy to see your work you guys are so amazing and i'm so happy to see your drawings also if don't forget if you want more progress tutorials go to my patreon page we'll be happy to see you there and again i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i really hope you will have a wonderful rest of the day and i will see you in the next one